type yeah? this is umara so this is one is all about my experience uh, of last year brc technical officer interview so as you know i had appeared for the technical officer interview and i was in the waiting list 3 in the final merit so did not get the chance to join there but uh, still uh, fine so this time i did not appear for the technical officer retain but uh, the people those who are appeared get the chance to appear the interview uh, started from 5 or 6 march i think i don't have any clear idea but it is going to be started from 5 or 6 march so uh, this video is all about my experience uh, what the people were asked me uh, during the interview session so aapko jaise pata hai wo log shuru karte interview with uh, four to five person in the panel so uh, my interview uh, was in the second day okay so i get the fourth panel so i just entered into the room so log mujhe puchna shuru kiye ki phd ka kaun sa year mein ho aur kya kaam karte ho maine bata diya ki sir main 2d material based electronics aur auto electronics device mein kaam karta hu basically fabrication ke upar kaam hai to wo log mujhe phir divert ho ke puchna shuru kiye ki atomic molecular spectroscopy se uh, so they just asked me about the uh, carbon dioxide molecule whether it will give you a rotational spectra or a vibrational spectra so that was the question so then they just go into inside somehow the rotational labels and what is the formula for the information b carries that is to be b into j into j plus 1 so b is equal to h square square by 2i so what that b indicates and how it is varying from molecule to molecule then they asked me about fine structure hyper fine structure and their interest they was focused towards the energy separation whether it will be more in uh, fine structure spectra or hyper fine structure spectra okay so they basically uh, take me into the bose magnetron for electron no for electron and neutron so depending upon their mass number you can say whether b mu b will be greater or mu n will be uh, greater so depending upon the magnetron constant or value uh, your perturbation to the uh, system that minus mb cos theta will be changes and depending upon the perturbation uh, you will get a higher energy uh, order correction or a higher energy separation in fine structure hyper fine structure okay that are the fundamental question from the fine structure and hyper fine structure then they asked me about the uh, zeeman splitting so how much magnetic field basically you need in the lab to observe the uh, Zeeman splitting so basically it's uh, 3 to 4 tesla it's not like ki, it's a hard and fixed number but it should be in that range and it's vary from material to material depending upon the strength of easily coupling occurring in the material okay so that was the uh, question from atomic molecular spectroscopy uh, then they asked me from nuclear is they start asking me from nucleus nuclear physics and their question was what is the basic difference between nuclear fusion and fusion and that co then concept of the barrier okay when there is a fusion the nucleus have to cross a activation energy so that in be to become to uh, individual nucleus or uh, n number of individual nucleus but in case of fusion the two lighter nuclei have to cross a potential of coulomb barrier okay in order to uh, give a combined nucleus in case of fusion so that was their question and they asked me about the barrier height so keep that number in mind the order basically it's energy order right in some case it will be mega electron volt or in some case it will be kilo electron volt whatever may be there but they are, they ask about the unit basically okay so then they asked me why fusion is not possible uh, in experimentally in the universe or like in any lab basically this is a fundamental question because for the fusion you need you, you need a 10 to the power 7 kelvin order of uh, temperature which is not possible to attain over here so that's only possible in sun okay in the core of the sun and they asked me really the temperature in the sun is 10 to the 7 well, uh, it's not like that it's in a condensed state that's a high pressure is there so it's held for the creating high in the high temperature so 10 to the 7 kelvin then they asked me about the uh, reactor they have brc have a reactor which is known as drubo reactor okay it's uh, basically nice reactor where you can isolate the particles okay so then one person was asked me about the how to do the fusion sorry fusion uh, 
so you know you have to isolate some neutron and have to collide with the unstable nucleus so that it will go undergo the fission process so they asked me how to isolate that neutron basically accelerator are there or you can just propagate for the nuclear accelerator and you can collide with the, uh, that nucleus okay so the, this is the way uh, our discussion was going on it's basically was a great discussion with me and we were just conveying the things and they are just receiving and asking further questions after atomic molecular and nuclear okay after uh, nuclear and the atomic molecular they asked me from uh, thermodynamics yes uh, they just asked me a simple question uh, putting uh, pressure into the cycle pumps so which process it is okay it's basically adiabatic process and they just asked me to draw the pressure and temperature relationship in that case okay then just go to some basic concept of thermodynamics and asking few variables and how depending upon uh, how it's depend upon each other okay so that are the question from thermodynamics <coughs> then uh, main story starts from solid state physics which was my research area so they just asked me about uh, xrd of a material basically i was i am working in a most and w2 kind of 2d material it's basically monolayer i am working or bilayer i am working so they just asked me about the xrd pattern of a material so i just tell the my material is monolayer so it will not give give you a powder xrd so in order to see the xrd you have to do in plane xrd okay or grassonian xrd so they were asking me uh like a xrd spectra can you uh, obtain a pl uh, sorry xrd mapping okay it's possible like pl intensity mapping or uh, raman intensity mapping you also can do the uh, xrd intensity mapping okay people are doing the rsm scale uh, reciprocal space mapping scale in order to see the overall intensity distribution in the material okay that can be done okay so then they asked me about the detector using xrd you say basically uh, I forget now, but it's basically a semiconducting sodium fluoride uh, combined uh, point detector. Yes, it's a point detector. So they have asked about that uh, detector and how it is working. Basically, it's collect the. <coughs> it's basically collect the part extra XRD coming after the dye extraction. The count is get collected in the detectors. It's basically uh, any detector you can see CCD charge photo detector or PMT photo model photo. <coughs> PMT photomodulation tube. So basically, these are the detector which counts the photons, okay, or are incoming particles and plot reads are the intensity, okay. So there's a basic front of a detector. So then they asked me about the uh, my material. Uh, oh, yes, yes, they are going towards my uh, application of this material. I just talked, okay, I'm working on these fabrications, I'm doing just FETs and uh, detector kind of things. and somehow I'm going to do for the logic integration. So they asked me, uh, uh, do you know the detector performance, how a detector works? Oh, so basically you, if you put sign light on a semiconductor, then electron hole pair will generate it. Okay. That electron will give rise to some photo current. Okay. And when they will recombine, there will be some fall in the photo current conductivity. So basically it's an on-off kind of things. Okay. You sign the light, the device will go to the on state and if you off the sign, then it will go to the dark state. Okay. Then they just asked me, uh, it's always obvious that uh, at uh, zero bias, okay, if you not applied any field to the material, you'll get the zero current, more less. They, uh, then they told if you not sign the light on the material, okay, then you will get the zero current in the material. It's not like that. It's depend on how much bias you're providing in between two terminals. Depending upon that, you will get the current, okay. But it's not like a dark current is always zero in the device. It should vary from material to material, depending upon the trap state defects remain in the material okay your uh, dark current will be different then they just asked me uh, the uh, why uh, why this 2d material is important nowadays people are working was in this 2d material basically if you see this 2d material means uh, exciton binding energy is much higher like 500 milli electron volt at room temperature and second thing is like the it's a <coughs> basically ventral material material you can extract layer by layer Okay, and it's flexible mechanical stability is there and its band gap is lies in the band visible region. Basically, if you see the TMD, uh, four type of TMD material are there, MOS2, WS2, MOS2, and WC2. Its band gap is lies in between 1.8 electron volt to 2 electron volt. So it's basically strong absorption towards visible lens. So it can be applicable in the visible lens applications. Okay, and excitons are stable. So excitonic device may be formed in this material. And uh, mobility is also 
comparable to other material and it can uh, deal with the short channel effect which is the main disadvantages in silicon industry silicon based industry so that's why this 2d material is going to be a good candidate in future for opto electronics application or optics application in future so that are the scene basically they uh, <coughs> went up to 50 minute or 55 minute in my case interview was very uh, nice i was enjoying the interview very well i know it was my last interview in brc so that's why i was conveying my uh, whatever i i know so confidently uh, you have to answer the things if you are unknown about the things just say i don't have any idea i will read about this thing because no one knows everything okay so you can just say the things politely ki i have no idea i will read it further if you know the things you can guess the thing you, you can uh, speculate the things in a good way or in a right way then just uh, convey the things ki i am thinking in this way it may be possible or it may explain these questions okay so uh, be there with a uh, confidence and your <coughs> hard work definitely you will good, do the good and this time competition is little more because our time uh, ratio was 5 is to 1 so in this time uh, the number of candidates are more but it's fine you just enjoy the process and go there with your physics knowledge or deliver the things whatever you know and let's go for the best okay so it's fine you will get select or not but you should be in the process and uh, continue your effort uh, whatever you want to do you can do in life but your honesty and hard work should be there thank you so much uh, thank you for watching my video after a long time i am here so still i am in lavender sunday okay fine thank you